1 John 4, 7 to 11 reads like this. Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God because God is love. This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only son into the world that he might live through him. This is love. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Dear friends, since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. Daniel and Alicia, let me encourage you to always reflect this type of love in your marriage. God is love, and Christ is the demonstration of that love. What that means for you here today and for the rest of your days together is this. When it is difficult to find love for each other within yourselves, there is plenty of love at the cross. That is why Christ must be the center of your marriage. Circumstances and situations want to drain your love for each other dry. But with Christ at the center, you have access to a well of love that will never, ever, ever run dry. ring I give to you as a symbol of my love. And I pledge to you my loyalty and devotion. And I pledge to you my loyalty and my devotion. Until we are separated by death. Until we are separated by death. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. This ring I give to you as a symbol of my love. And I pledge to you my loyalty and devotion. And I pledge to you my loyalty and devotion. Until we are separated by death. Until we are separated by death. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. And because you desire to live your lives together in accordance with God's holy ordinance and God's holy word, I now pronounce you husband and wife. 
Daniel, you may kiss your bride.